Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Peace family. My name is Vicki Dillard and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure you give us a big thumbs up, thumbs up and share this broadcast. Thank you so very much. Listen, family, certainly you all know what's been happening with our brother Dave Chappelle um, in the news lately and the powers that shouldn't be um, threatening him with economic sanctions. I specifically use that word economic sanctions because we're we're used to attributing that phrase to international geopolitical uh, in, a, in a geopolitical context, but the United States engages in geo in, in in economic sanctions. That means to punish people based on removing resources, finances from them. This is an old thing that they've always done here in the United States, especially amongst our people. Which is the reason why when you hear Black folks talk about self being self-sustaining, when we're talking about Black business ownership and stuff, it's really a Black liberation move when we're talking about uh, being economically healthy and secure. We should really celebrate that because it's necessary uh, for Black liberation. Well, now Dave Chappelle, after doing, dealing with so much pushback and resistance, Dave Chappelle just let us know that the film festival folk that he had agreed to connect with, they're now refusing to show his film, The Closer, uh, the controversial movie uh, film that he did where folks in the LGBTQ community were said to have been upset. Well, Dave disputes some of that and we know that he is there intentionally taking uh, his intentions the wrong way. Listen to a little bit of what he says here. It's been said in the press that I was invited to speak to the transgender employees at Netflix, and I refuse. That is not true. If they had invited me, I would have accepted it, although I am confused about what we are speaking about. I said what I said, and boy, I heard what you said. My God, how could I not? You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. I want everyone in this audience to know that it, even though the media frames this, that it's me versus that community, that is not what it is. Do not blame the LBGTQ community for any of this shit. This has nothing to do with them. It's about corporate interests and what I can say and what I cannot say. For the record, and I need you to know this, everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supporting. So I don't know what all this nonsense is about. Now, I think that's so uh, telling what you all just heard. First of all, he tells us that this lie that he was unwilling to meet with them initially, the media is lying about that. Family, the media always sees misinformation to make someone look more of a jerk than what they really are. Then he tells us that it's corporate interests. He said this has nothing to do with really the LGBTQ community because he says the folks that he know in the community have been actually nice to him. He said, this is about censorship. This is about corporations trying to tell him what he can and can't say. Family, this is modern butt breaking. And I love the fact that he's standing strong and saying that he will not bend. I've been saying this for a long time now. I'll continue to say this, say this, that there is a changing not only of the guards, but there's a changing of the gods. When I say gods, I mean one with force and power. Beloved, 
when you see more and more black men stop bending and bowing and hemming and hawing, when all of our powerful black men uh, in particular that's being attacked are the ones that make whatever particular discipline or industry they're in, whether you are an athlete or a comedian or you're in some uh, academic uh, setting or, or, or um, whatever industry you might be in. We're the ones that give it swag. We're the ones that give it spirit. These entities and corporations wouldn't be anything without us. So when we start to truly resist and stand up and then start to make our connection with the people, we're going to see a greater change. So shout out to Dave. I hope he continues to stay strong. And I believe that we're going to continue to see more of these types of things. Somebody say black power. Somebody say black power. Dear family, by the way, my international global um, webinar where I did recently about um, the sacred secret um, messenger codes, the ancestral messenger code, DNA messenger code um, that I just did uh, was so amazing. At least eight nations that we know of, including the United States, attended. It was powerful. I was there not one, not two, not three, but almost four hours giving you nothing but supernatural codes and me being extremely vulnerable um, with this particular elite group explaining to you all a supernatural encounter that I had and some information that I was given by this supernatural messenger. I shared that in my webinar. So by popular demand, I'm making for a limited time only, for a limited time only, the replay. The replay is exclusive. You can't record it. You can't download. You can't do any of that kind of stuff. All rights reserved. But if you want to get the replay, you can get it today on my website at onpurposewithvicky.com. The link will be in the chat on purpose with vicky.com on purpose with vicky.com get ready your life will never be the same there are specific instructions that you're going to need there's a right mindset that you need to have um there's some real work there are instructions that i'm going to give you as well everything that you need for this particular webinar it is absolutely powerful i'm still not really on earth to tell you the truth because of the unbelievable testimonies that are already coming in because of this extraordinary encounter and experience. If you want to experience what I was told by a supernatural messenger related to our sacred secret royal bloodline codes, especially for such a time as this, you want to go to my website at onpurposewithvicky.com. That's onpurposewithvicky, V-I-C-K-I.com. Go to purchase store and you can get it today for the replay. Hurry, it's only for a limited time. I can't wait to see you there. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.